Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, it's Clarky, and today we're gonna do a paint and sip inspired by the new movie Mia Culpa. So grab your glass of wine or whatever you whatever beverage you prefer and let's get right into it. Welcome everyone. So today I will be using acrylic paint and I'm kind of using a technique where I make big color um patches and it comes together at the end so it's more of a trust the process type of thing okay Just, so the you know, main character me. is mia she is an attorney and uh she's married to this anesthesiologist that recently got fired for doing drugs or something like that um but now he's a bum at home playing video games all day instead of trying to find a job and he's also playing video games with his ex-girlfriend or childhood friend or whoever that he was previously caught cheating with so that's a red flag and on top of that he is like a mama's boy in the worst way his his mom disrespects mia and he just lets he lets it happen the mom ended up inviting um his ex-girlfriend or the girl he plays video games with to a birthday dinner where the mom is just being so disrespectful to mia and Mia kind of just let it happen. So so Mia also has this friend that's a private investigator that's been finding all this information about her husband cheating and some information on her new case, Zaire, who is the artist that was accused of being a murderer or murdering his girlfriend. And this just causes Mia to unravel, if you will. So this kind of leads her into a spiral where she ends up cheating on her husband with Zaire but at the time she thought her husband was cheating because the PI gave her uh, bad information and so she kind of just said F it and that's when the infamous paint scene happens and baby when I tell you Trevante put that thing down flipped it in reverse <laughs> he did but the scene was beautifully done the shots were very artistic the colors everything looked really nice every i thought it was very um tasteful for what it was so towards the end of the movie it kind of turned into more of a thriller which i wish would have been a separate movie because that could have been done really well um just kind of expanding on the case the result of the case and just like the crazy family dynamic, just more in detail on what happened and how they got to where they are currently. I think that would have made both movies um, a lot better. But there are a lot of mixed reviews out there. But I mean, you just have to have an open mind and just take it for what it is. It's entertainment. I hope you all enjoy this review. Um, leave your comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.